I cherish the fond of memories of my childhood when the season's first raindrop brought sheer excitement. We would eagerly wait for that moment when we could run outside, feel the droplets on our skin, and immerse ourselves in the pure joy of playing in the rain. However, doing this in today's world is highly unsafe. For acid rain is a risk. Acid rain, just the name itself, sounds like something out of science fiction movie. But unfortunately, it is real environmental issue that has plagued our planet of decades. So how is this mysterious rain formed? Let's uncover the science behind it in our today's session. Acid rain is primarily formed through the process known as atmospheric deposition, which involves the interaction of certain pollutants with the atmosphere and precipitation. The main contributors to acid rain are sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide. Emissions released into the air primarily from human activities such as burning, fossil fuels, industrial processes, and vehicle exhaust. Once released into the atmosphere, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides undergo chemical reactions with other compounds present such as water vapor oxygen and other pollutants sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen and other chemicals in the presence of sunlight to form sulfur trioxide this sulfur trioxide then reacts with the water vapor in the air to form sulfur acid a highly corrosive acid nitrogen oxides particularly nitrogen oxide can also react with water vapor and other atmospheric compounds to form nitric acid another highly corrosive acid as sulfuric acid, nitric acid and another acidic compounds form. They mix with clouds, fog or raindrops. These acid droplets then fall back to the earth's surface as acid rain, snow or dry particles. Effects of acid rain It's important to note that the acid rain can travel long distance before falling to the ground. Prevailing winds can carry the acidic pollutants across borders, resulting in acid rain far away from the original emission sources. The impacts of acid rain are not limited to the areas where the pollutants are emitted but can affect ecosystems, water bodies and human health in distant regions. Acid rain possess significant harm to agricultural planets, animals and even our infrastructure or monuments. Its detrimental effect can be seen in various aspects of our environment. Firstly, acid rain negatively impacts agriculture and plants by washing away essential nutrients that are crucial for their growth and survival. As it falls on the soil, it alters its composition position, making it less suitable for healthy plant development. This can result in reduced crop yields, stunt growth and increased susceptibility to diseases and pests. Additionally, acid rain has adverse effects on animals and human health. When inhaled, the acidic pollutants present in the air can cause respiratory issues, exacerbating conditions like asthma and compromising lung function. Animals exposed to acid rain can also suffer from similar respiratory alignments, leading to decreased overall well-being. Moreover, acid rain's harmful influence extends to the aquatic ecosystem. When it falls and flows into rivers and ponds, it alters the chemical composition of the water. This change can be detrimental to the survival of aquatic life, disrupting the delicate balance of the ecosystem. The pollution caused by the acid rain poses a threat to the well-being of fish, amphibians, and other aquatic organisms. The corrosive nature of acid also wreaks havoc on our infrastructure. It damages buildings links and monuments made of stones and metals eroding their surfaces. Considering all these consequences, it is high time that we are all responsible and take action to prevent acidic rain. And this would require reducing emissions of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides by adopting cleaner energy sources and implementing stringent air pollution control measures. Additionally, promoting sustainable practices and raising awareness about the importance of reducing pollution can contribute to preventing acid rain. That's all for today's session. I hope this session was informative. Hit the like button and please do share it with your friends and family to make them aware of this topic. For more such videos on environmental science, please subscribe to our channel.